All right, so obviously I'm going with a new look. I'm turning 30 soon, so hats got to go. Backwards hats got to go. 30, I'm a man, and it just is what it is. If uh, I go bald, I go bald. It is what it is, but I can't do hats anymore. That's a kid thing to do. I'm not going to go into 40s, 50s wearing a hat. It's just not happening. But I will make a video about this whole Jalen Rager thing because it's kind, of, it's kind of fucked up. But at the same time, it's like I really feel for this guy mentally. I, I, I really worry about this guy's mentality, not only as a player, but as a person. Because he had a quote earlier this week saying that he's looking for that sweet old revenge. I don't know what it was exactly, but it was like something like, I'm looking for that revenge against the Philadelphia Eagles. And like someone that couldn't even catch a punt, he runs backwards. And uh, granted, I was a big Jalen Rager fan. I loved him coming out of the draft. I wanted to pick him over Justin Jefferson. I was a big fan. I thought he had that raw talent from TCU. And I was big on him. Like, you guys saw my draft, my draft reaction video. I was huge on him. And what... I, I just don't know what possesses you to say something like this. Like, you're going to Minnesota. Minnesota's known for ice fishing. You know, they're known, they're known for a school chant that they stole from a soccer team in Iceland. Um, I don't really get this one. You know, if you want to get your revenge, play well. It's really that simple, you know. You could play well, or you could play like the same piece of shit you played with, played like in Philly. You know, I'm never gonna hate this guy just because he was my draft pick, but I, I just don't really understand the mentality there. Like he, this guy uh, clearly needs help. Like clearly needs help. Like he's dealing with major issues, and him coming back to Philly is probably not the best thing right now, because. If he screws up just once, he's going to check out. Like, he's not going to want to do the sweet old revenge anymore. He's going to literally want to check out. Like, he's not going to want to be in the game anymore. So, you just... <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I'll be at the game, you know. I don't know why I'm going to the game, obviously, because I'm not a big Jalen Hurts person, and I think that it won't matter at the end of the year. I think we're going to, like, lose in the playoffs, but... I'll still be there just because it's going to be a beautiful night and I'll be back at the link. But Jalen Rager, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, get some fucking help, dude. Like, seriously. But, um, oh, yeah, another thing I had to mention. I see a lot of people coming at me in the comment section saying that they're close with Jason Peters. This was like three accounts now saying that they're close with Jason Peters, saying that he's not a degenerate, ga a degenerate gambler. If you want the facts and you don't want to just listen to me, go down to Harris Resort, Atlantic City. Go ask a pit boss in the high rollers. Not a regular pit boss. The high rollers. Go ask a pit boss if they know Jason Peters. They'll tell you he's a degenerate gambler. His crew comes in there all the time to pretty much intimidate them. And he loses everything he has. So I'm not lying about that. That's the truth. I, I used to, and, and I'm, I'm not going to lie about this. Because when I was 21 through 26, I used to love playing blackjack. You know, I used to love it. I, I went down there until I found out that blackjack's not good for you, you know? So this is how I know how people act. Like, he, he talked all that shit about the Dallas Cowboys. And he's going to sign with them for a million dollars because he loves to play football? No, he needs the money. He's a gambler. That's what gamblers do. They they try to get every little penny they can. They can't play anymore. He's probably not going to play this year. He's just stealing money from the Cowboys. So it is what it is. I'm out. Bye.